What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I will be reviewing yet another beer from Hot Butcher for the World, and they are out of Chicago, Illinois, and this is their Lord Octomoss. So they are calling this one a mosaic. Citra and Simcoe hopped double IPA, comes in at 8% alcohol by vine. No IBUs listed in time of review. This can is just under six weeks old. I want to give a huge thanks and shout out once again to Hot Butcher for hooking me up with this one. I'll post a link in the description box of the beer mail unboxing video I did that contains all the goodies they hooked me up with. And I'm uh, really excited about this one because this is a mashup of their Lord Octopus and their Green Moss. So I have had and reviewed Lord Octopus on the channel is one of the first uh, beers that Hop Butcher sent to me, and I believe that is a Mosaic Hopped uh, double IP from them. And then Green Moss is their Citra and Simcoe Hopped double IP. I've never had that one, but I've had the triple IP version, Greener Moss. So I'm really excited about this one. I love the artwork, uh, the octopus there, all greened out instead of the uh, blue like in the other, um, the Lord uh, Octopus uh, can. I just love that work. Dan Chesla does a great job. You know, I don't usually talk about the labels from Hot Butcher, and that's just because most of the time they're fantastic. So this is another one. Anyway, let's get into the glass here, see what we got going on. So I'm really excited about this one. I did not look at uh, tasting notes. Like I have uh, pretty much cut those out in terms of looking at them in the middle of a review or before the review. I wait till afterwards to see. And more often than not, I come close. Uh, sometimes I miss, but you know, the taste notes are there for what they're tasting, not necessarily what you are. So anyway, that has this really nice honey orange murky uh, vibe to the uh, color of the beer. Has about a two finger uh, white head, some bigger bubbles, mix it with small, smaller bubbles. Looks slightly soap sizey, not super creamy, but looks fine. Let's get a nose. That smells awesome. So I'm getting like sweet berries. Mosaic is the first hop listed, probably the most. Oh, oh yeah, that's the other thing I want to mention too, because on their uh, Instagram page, they said they're using Mosaic, Mosaic Cryo, uh, Citra and Citra Cryo, and Simcoe and Simcoe Cryo. Most of the times they just say on the you know, on the label, like whatever hops they're using, but never saw a break broken down like that. So I thought that was cool. But yeah, sweet, like red berry, like a raspberry, maybe a strawberry. Mosaic more and more is not like a lot of people used to say, and they still do to this this point, and I never got it as much, but the berry note they get from Mosaic is typically blueberry. For me, it's always been like a nondescript red berry, maybe a uh, like a raspberry or, or something like that, or like a boysenberry. After that, I'm getting, hang on. What is that sweetness? Like a cherry? My fucking palate's broken today. Yeah, so sweet red berry, maybe a touch of like a cherry, almost like a like a pineapple and cherry, like fruit cup type of thing. That's what I'm getting. So definitely pineapple, cherry, sweeter berry. It's a little bit of like an earthy, almost floral-esque kind of hop character. Maybe a little bit of citrus, like a um, sweeter citrus. So like a ruby red or pink grapefruit with like a little sugar sprinkled on top of it. Uh, like the Swedish, sweet, not Swedish, the sweetish. Uh, like orange sensation, tangerine, things of that nature. Not as juicy as like this. I'm getting a lot of sweetness from this, but it's not like a confectionery super like crazy sweet. It just feels like a little bit more sweet. So I don't know. It smells pretty good. Let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. And thanks again to Hot Butcher. So the one thing I will say is on the palate, it's not as sweet as the nose was indicating. It's still sweet, but not crazy sweet. Ooh, and the tip of the tongue is fucking wild. So I'm getting that red berry. I would say red raspberry. It's a touch of cherry and pineapple. All those sweeter fruits hit me right in the tip of the tongue. And I really don't get that with like a lot of tropical fruit, like where specifically the tip of the tongue or the, like the first you know, quarter of the palate, it's like concentrated on my tongue, that those sweet notes. Right after that, zesty, juicy, sweeter, orange, tangerine, uh, ruby red grapefruit, like a little bit of sugar sprinkled on top. Middle of the palate, all that sweet, tropical fruit, sweet citrus fruit stopped dead in its tracks by this like, it was more of like an earthy floral sensation in the taste. It's more like a dank earthiness to me. Yeah, dank earthiness. That carries on in the back of the palate. This is finishes semi-dry with a mild to moderate bitterness. It does have a lot of bitterness. It's probably more right in between mild to moderate, but it's fine. I would maybe like to see a little bit more bitterness here. Shout out to the train going by. There's an underlying uh, sweet, almost honey biscuity kind of malt sensation that's really nice. This is this is a, a nice sweet double IPA 
that isn't too sweet. And it's weird because there isn't, like I said, a lot of bitterness or a lot of dryness to kind of break that up on the back of the palate to like balance it out for what, you know, a lot of times I talk, you know, I'll be breaking it down and say, oh, sweet, you know, front of the palate, uh, you know, mild to moderate bitterness on the back with some of dry, balances out some degree. This leans sweeter, but it's not cloying. It's a weird sweetness to me. It's a very weird sweetness that I enjoy. I could fucking, I could crush these. At 8%, that's dangerous because I'm not picking anything up on the pal. This is, this is dangerous shit right here. Holy shit. This is crazy. I'm really digging. I, I don't know what it is about that, that front of the palate or the tip of the tongue, but I've really never experienced that on a hot butcher beer. I'm just thinking in general, have I really just like the tip of the tongue been that crazy with the characters, but like the sweet kind of sensation? Probably. I just don't remember. I'm old. I've reviewed what? Over uh, a thousand beers on the channel. So I really like this. I really, I really dig that pineapple cherry kind of fruit cup thing with that uh, red berry type of thing. Those characters, that element brings something different to a beer that um, I wouldn't say needs it, but makes it stand out, at least for me. Anyway, not much more to say about it. This is really good. Yeah, it's really good. So uh, Lord Octomoss from Hopster. I'm going to go high 4.25 out of 5. I'm going to go 4.3 out of 5. If there was a little bit more bitterness... I think this would get in the low 4.5 or right into the 4.5 range. But as is, this is just really cool. Um, yeah, let's do tasting notes because I always forget them or I used to. Now I'm doing a better job. Um, we'll see what they say. Fresh citrus. Yeah, on the palate. I mean, it was the second note that hit me. So they say fresh citrus, sure. Like I was getting juicy and zesty, tangerine, orange, ruby, red, grapefruit. Yeah, so that's fine. Uh, dank berries. Okay, I see where they're coming from. I wouldn't necessarily say dank berries. But I am getting a, uh, you know, a, like a ripened kind of like nondescript red berry or maybe a raspberry, like I was saying. And then you get that dankness on the back. So you could say dank berries and not be wrong for me. I wouldn't necessarily say dank berries, but I see where they're coming from. And last is uh, piney tropical. Yeah, I get, I get pineapple. I could see tropical piney. Not for me. There's a dankness. There's an earthiness, but I don't get piney. So, um I would say for the most part, I see where they're coming from with the tasting notes, but I didn't necessarily get each one of those specifically. Like it was more of like a zesty, juicy citrus as opposed to fresh. It was more of a just straight on berry or you would say they say pleasant dank a lot for me when one or the other, or maybe both. And then they say uh, piney tropical. I get tropical, but not piney. So like 50% for me. I did all right. I just really like this one. It, the drinkability for a sweeter uh, double IPA. And I didn't even talk about it. And I talked about it when I did the unboxing, but... This is an 8% double IP from them, which is rare. They usually do the 7.5s. Unless it's a collab, then it's typically 8. Well, with this, the prior box they sent to me, or the last box, their insert eye roll here, which was a collaboration between them and vitamin C, that was 7.5%, and this is 8%. This is not a collab, so they kind of put the script on me and made me look like an ass. <laughs> Let's be honest. I do that, so do that to myself every single fucking review, so it doesn't matter. Uh, price availability, these are like 15, 16 bucks a four pack in the Chicago area. Probably be a little bit more expensive if you were to buy it online or if it shows up in your area, but for what they're going for MSRP locally, $4 a can. Yeah, it's a fucking great deal because these are awesome beers. And availability, like I said, you can see uh, different websites are getting them now. Um, a lot of places uh, locally here in the U.S. are getting them. Uh, even like web shops in Europe see Hop Butcher stuff. So I, I've said this in a lot of the recent reviews from Hop Butcher. If you really want their stuff, you can seek it out and get it quite easily. So anyway, huge thanks to Hop Butcher for this delicious beer. Really good. If you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. Now I'm curious to try Green Moss. I've had Greener Moss. Really enjoy that one. But I want to do, I want to properly review and try uh, Green Moss. So hopefully next time I review it, I get my hands on it. Anyway, appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. To the next one. Cheers. 8%. No fuck.